we doing folks this is the pop music freak i am back with another song facts countdown video i am counting down my 1000 favorite songs of all time and we are up to song number 830 on the list it is a movie song from a very popular musical movie from the summertime of 1978 can you guess what song from what movie hmm <laughs> no, it wasn't Saturday Night Fever, but it was the next Super Smash movie after it. <laughs> that involved John Travolta. Yes, I'm talking about Grease. Yes, it's Grease. Yes, the song is Summer Nights. And yes, I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm honoring probably one of my favorite musicals I've ever seen in my whole life. And I'm old. <laughs> and the second bird is paying tribute to Living Newton John, of course. Can't forget her. She's gone now a couple months. It's a couple months already. Jesus. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's one of those ones that hit me hard, you know? I mean, I've been working on this list of all these musicians and stars and pop stars and movie stars that are all getting up there in age, and we have to face the reality that some of them are going to go away. Sadly, Olivia Newton-John has flown away. Um, and we all pay tribute to her. A lot of people putting out videos, doing reactions of, of for her songs and stuff, which is great. She deserves the recognition at this point. I figured, let me, you know, she was in this countdown here. I had the song here. I said, eh, let me wait until we get to this number and we'll do it the right way. Okay, so here we are. The song is Summer Nights from the Grease soundtrack, 1978. It is number 830 on my list, and I'm going to give you the song facts about this song. Summer Nights is a popular song from the musical Grease. Written by Jim Jacobs and Warren Casey. Uh, its best known version was recorded by American actor and singer John Travolta and British Australian singer, songwriter, and actress Olivia Newton John for the big screen adaptation of the musical and released as a single that same year. It was released in August 1978 as the fourth single from the movie soundtrack album and became a massive hit worldwide during the summer of 78. Parts of the song were introduced to a new audience when it was re-released in the 1990s as part of a mega mix of several songs from the movie version. Okay, it was released August 25th of 1978. Here's background on the song and the movie. In the movie version of Grease, Travolta and Newton John played the lead roles of Danny Zuko and Sandy Olsen. The song's genesis stems from a summertime love affair between Danny and Sandy which had ended upon Sandy's revelation that she was moving back to Australia with her family. However, Sandy soon learns that her family is staying in the United States and subsequently enrolls at Rydell High School, where Danny is also a student. In the original stage version, Sandy Dombrowski, who, like many other characters in the play, is a Catholic of Polish descent, originally attends parochial school. On the other hand, Danny lied to her and claimed to attend Lake Forest Academy, a prestigious real-life private school in Chicago. Sandy's parents' decision to pull her out of Catholic school and put her in public right out high exposes Danny's subterfuge. It quickly becomes clear that there are unresolved feelings of love between Danny and Sandy. Separately and unknown to each other, both Danny and Sandy meet with their respective group of friends to share their perspectives on their summertime fling. Danny, the leader of the Greaser gang known as the T-Birds, the Burger Palace Boys in the stage show, brags about the physical aspects of the relationship. Sandy remarks to the schoolgirl clique, the Pink Ladies, about her emotional attachment to Danny. The resulting conversations are played out through the song. Of the cast members, only Travolta and Newton John provided vocals for the previous single from the soundtrack, You're the One That I Want. But other members of the cast contributed backing and cameo lead vocals to Summer Nights. The only vocal contributions on the soundtrack from uh, Kelly Ward, Putsy, and Michael Tucci, Sonny, are their single questions in the song. Sonny also had no solo lines in the musical. The two songs from the musical by Putsy's stage counterpart were cut from the film. Stockard Channing, Rizzo's solo li line, because he sounds like a drag, <laughs> Uh, a boulderization of the likely slur used in the original Chicago version was spoken rather than sung. The film's version, background lyrics, quote three songs, The Do Run Run by The Crystals, 
Down Duty, uh, a non-slyric used in both Tonight I Fell in Love by the Tokens and Breaking Up is Hard to Do by uh, Neil Sedaka, and Papa Um Mau Mau by the Rivingtons, later made famous as part two of Surfer Bird by the Trashmen, that were released in the early 60s, a few years after the film's setting in the fall of 58. Summer Nights was originally written for the stage show's transition to Broadway. The original Chicago version of the musical, staged only once since the 70s, had a different song, Foster Beach, at that point. But for the movie, they used Summer Nights. Chart Performance Summer Nights reached number 5 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and spent two weeks at number 3 on Cashbox's Top 100. The song was an even bigger hit in the U.K., spending seven weeks at number 1. Combined with an earlier nine-week run with You're the One That I Want, the Travolta-Newton-John duet team spent 16 weeks at number one during 1978 in the UK. In 2004, the song finished at number 70 on AFI's 100 Years 100 Song Survey of Top Tunes in American Cinema. Uh, In 2010, Billboard ranked it number nine on their Best Summer Songs of All Time list. So, more chart statistics, hit number one in Ireland, like I said, number one in the UK, number four in West Germany, number five on Billboard, like I had said, in Italy it hit number four, in New Zealand, number three, Uh, in Canada, number three, and also on the adult contemporary chart in Canada, number three, and in Australia, number six, on the US adult contemporary chart, it got to number 21. Uh, Now, in the year-end charts for 1978, it ranked as the number 69 song of the year in the Billboard Hot 100. It was number 41 for the year in Cashbox, and was number 3 for the year in the UK. Uh, And for the decade of the 70s, it ranked number 7 in the UK, for the whole decade of the 70s. In terms of certifications, in the US, it was certified gold for 1 million copies sold in the UK, it went platinum, selling 1.64 million copies. In France, it went gold uh, for 500,000 copies sold. And Canada, certified gold for 75,000 copies. So, that is about it. Uh, those are the song facts I have for you for Summer Nights from Greece from 1978. It is song number 830 on my list of 1,000 favorite songs of all time. Uh, you know, one that I want will be in this countdown as well, as long as a few other songs by Olivia Newton John. We've already did physical by her back in the uh, 900s. Uh, and uh, we're going to keep on rolling. There are a few other songs, like I mentioned, by Olivia Newton John that I really love. And I will post them uh, coming up. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that we love the music we love the things keep changing new innovations and new styles and genres we cannot forget the people who came before there's so many female artists who would not have taken their root in their career without being influenced by other artists who have gone that same road and had success the living newton john would have flopped in the 80s with physical and you know other songs like that heart attack and make a move on me and um other artists may not have done that same route. They might have stayed who they are. I think the most, uh, to me, the most obvious example in the 80s of an artist who decided, let me be more daring, let me be more racy, let me be more seductive, would be Ashina Easton, who started out very soft with love songs, you know, kind of, uh, you know, wallflowerish almost, I would say, but with a great voice and great talent, don't get me wrong. But then once the Prince influence came in and she changed the sound to be more out there and sexy and that way, she kept having hits. She ended up having hits all the way through to the end of the 80s. So that's one example of an artist who definitely was hugely influenced by what Olivia and John did. Then we'll, we can get into discussion in, 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 down the road with other songs by Olivia. But uh, she definitely paved the way for a lot of artists in the way they've conducted their careers. Maybe some of them, I may not agree, may not like that they've went too far in one direction. But Olivia, I think, did it right. And because of that, she had the career she had. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up for now. Summer Nights, number 830 on my Song Facts countdown list. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to post a link to the uh, music video from the movie in the, on my description. 
Hope you like the video. Share it. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Do all that good stuff for me. All right. Thank you all very much. I wish you peace and love.